Okay, so now we're talking to Sam, who is a VP of marketing within the ThinkPad division, or notebook division, is that right? Correct. Okay, and you're going to talk us through some ThinkPad products. Sure. Some new things we're announcing here at the show um, is a new class of offering for our ThinkPad line called the ThinkPad X100e. Um, we noticed in the market, uh, as you look across the, the gamut of everything that was coming up with netbooks, uh, there's an element of netbook that really didn't meet the market's needs and requirements. Right. Um, business application usage or support for Win7. A lot of the netbooks had smaller screens, smaller keyboards. And when I looked out in the marketplace, we saw an opportunity to bring in a sub $500 value portable notebook that took away some of the inhibitors of netbook, but yet gave the value proposition that we felt was necessary in hitting the very effective price point of four, four sub $500. Okay. Uh, in this case, we have the new X100e, and what's really exciting about it is the elements of both the screen size is an 11.6, which yep. gets you a, a layout and a design element that is a very usable screen size, but coupled with that, we have this great uh, new design. Uh, they call it a contemporary. Some people want to call it the island keyboard. I know Lenovo's been historically known for its keyboards, and we very rarely yep. make like, changes to them, but uh, trust me when I say that this is ThinkPad caliber. It's build-proof, track okay. point. Uh, the pitch and travel, if you were to close your eyes, you wouldn't know if you were typing on the the Think Classic or the T-Series or W-Series, but uh, a really great layout and we're very proud of uh, this type of product and what it brings to the market, giving customers choice that are you know, maybe a little bit price sensitive, looked at netbooks, didn't really see the elements that they needed both from supporting a business or a Win7 application and having a very great usable screen and keyboard and a very light and a great battery life system. Mind if I? Sure. Yep. So starting anywhere with a three cell battery, it starts at sub three pounds, gets to around 3.3 pounds when you add the six cell battery. And overall, I would say, you know, battery life, you're going to get around a five hour uh, battery life on a six cell okay. charge. I noticed um, when you had the screen open, there was an AMD um, Vision Pro logo came up. This is running on AMD processor, is it? Yes. The, the design point here was to, to bring a good value performance technology. What AMD affords us is it, to hit those price points where um, at the onset we're offering what we call the, uh, the Neo processors or their yeah. Athlon class, the MV40. And then in February when we refresh it, we'll actually add a Torion Core 2 element to that. Uh, okay. So we'll, we'll enhance it very quickly soon after a CES. And this is, this is the first time you guys have been doing notebooks with AMD processors in, is that correct? Um, actually, someone reminded me, I've been doing this for 25 years, we actually had an i-series in 1990 in Japan okay. which had an AMD processor. Okay, so it's the first time for 19 years. It's, yeah, it's been well, a, 20. Yeah, it's been 20 years. But okay. uh, uh, We're very excited about giving the, the customer the choice and the affordability and it's a, it's a great architecture and a great design that, the, uh, that AMD has brought forward with the Vision Pro technology and we're proud to be uh, in partnership with AMD. Great. And so what else have we got to look at? Sure. We create a, a new class of offering called the ThinkPad Edge. Okay. Uh, this series is made up of a, a group of products. This happens to be the 13-inch. Uh, over to our left is also the 14-inch Edge. Uh, you're going to notice a very different ID style and change. Yep. We started with the overall viewpoint that People love our ThinkPad design, and, but yet we, when we look at the progressive di designs that are coming in the consumer and the retail outlet shops where cu other customers may buy, uh, from an appearance standpoint, people always loved the element of ThinkPad and tell us to don't change it. On the other hand, the appeal or the element, so it's the old Coke or Coke Classic. We've taken right. a very good uh, element yeah, of... You don't want to do a, if it ain't broke, don't fix it thing. Yeah, well, you, you want to push the envelope of style because it's, you know, it's not my father's IBM in the old days. We're now Lenovo. Yeah. And, uh, uh, we try to make changes that come with that. Part of that change is we sat around and we said to ourselves, what elements could we bring to enhance it? Um, we sat around the room looking at very different styles and ideas of uh, different um, thought processes and we looked, what we really liked about this particular ID is it extended the element of what we come to be known for the, the silver hinge element or the metal hinges. This actually looks like a banded system so the silver extracts some of the the premium element. We've actually even enhanced the logo size if you would that you'll find from our classic ThinkPad to the current ThinkPad. The logo's even been brought up to amplify that to even add to the overall appeal. So a very clean design, a very simple design. You don't see a lot of, uh, you know, we actually try to keep the, the connectors more to the side to give an appeal of, of right, a clear yeah. uh, front and look and a very thin design. This happens to be, of course, with the craze of the thin and light CLUVs that are out there. Uh, this is designed to be in that category. Yes. Um, so this is the 13. But again, AMD, yeah? Uh, actually a mixture here. Once, oh, okay. once you go to the edge, uh, this class of offerings, we've got everything from CLUV to the, AM, uh, the AMD as, uh, as the Turians as well. So there's okay. actually offerings from both, both of our providers. Um, when you go inside, you get a whole new element of style and design change much cleaner where the numeric keypad numbers are no longer on the inside. 
the arrow keys have been taken off the shift and cap lock keys. Um, we've actually enhanced the multi-touch touchpad and its size. And more importantly, if you grew up like I did 50 some odd years ago in the old VM3270, everyone always, you know, tell your mom to hit function F1 or F2, and your mom doesn't know what function keys are. Yep. And they shouldn't have to, because function isn't an element of what our users are doing in, in a Microsoft environment or, or as a UI. So what we did is we de-emphasized them. We still have them there. They're now the secondary key, but we moved the actual keys of functionality, audio mute, up, down, uh, mic mute, all the things that you would do in a normal application usage, those are the primary keys. So very proud of the new design element, yep. the simplification, yep. the look and the design of the system. So a very clean, new ID look, a very good price sensitive product set starting from 549, working its way up by configuration to the $800 price sell, but very targeted to what we consider to be classifications of small or medium businesses that want to have a ThinkPad product, maybe in a price sensitive environment. We now have the ThinkPad Edge. By the way, we've even stretched it uh, a little bit, stretched a little bit further. You'll notice red as well as an option, and then black, and we have still the classic flat black.